Oh, my lights finally work too now. Oh, are they uh, battery? Yeah, I put this this battery pack right here on and it just runs one wire. Pretty slick, drilled right into the existing holes. So that's your option. You either run a battery or you run a converter. There's two ways to get the power to do stuff. Sorry if this is like a long video and kind of boring for people that don't care about electronics on scooters. I get it and I'm sorry, I apologize. But for anybody who's like about to do this type of mod on their scooter, it is kind of important to just talk about all these details so you sort of understand what's going on in the broader sense of things. The simplest and most safest way is to get a small rechargeable battery pack. You either put it into a bag or you make a little case for it like this. In this case, we mounted it right to the original holes on the scooter. So it's basically seamless. We have one wire running out that's 12 volt. It's going to run down to our lights, power all of our lights also has a little charge port here. So we're gonna charge it here with a separate charger. That is the downside of using a separate battery pack. You have to charge it separately. It's a little bit more work. So say that you don't wanna run a separate accessory battery like this. What's our other option to power these type of side accessories? You're gonna be looking for one of these. It's is a drop down converter. I have a few different ones here that we can look at and talk about depending on your use case and how you're going to use it, you'll need more power or less power. The smallest one here only runs five amps, a very small amount of power. If you're going to be trying to run headlights or anything, this is not going to work. You're going to need a bigger one, but for any small devices like led strips underneath this small one will work. Five amps is enough power. That's 60 Watts. So you guys that aren't familiar, the way to do the math is 12 times five equals 60. This is gonna be able to power anything under 60 watts, which will be most LED kits. If you wanna run some of these other bigger headlights like I've added in the past, like 240 watt headlight, for example, you're gonna need something like this. It's a 20 amp. So a 20 amp times 12, that's 240 watts. You can run a significantly more power. So the question is gonna be, what are you running on it? How much? of a converter do you need? Do you need five amps? Do you need 20 amps? That's really the range on these. I've used all of these types before, but as you can see, they sort of are 48, 60, 72, 94, 120 volt. It theoretically could work with any voltage scooter on the market, basically up to 120 volts and it's 15 amp output. So it's gonna put out 180 watts, 12 volt times 15 amps, 180 watts. I know we're getting a little technical here, but this is sort of information you need to use when you go shopping for lights, right? So if you have a 180 watt converter, that means you need to go shopping for like 180 watt headlight setup that then you can run with this. Headlights, they'll come in different wattages and you'll be easily be able to know what you can run and what you can't run based on all this information. Now I do suggest having some overhead when you do this. Obviously, if you're running electronic systems, it's better to have you know a lot more grace period to where you're not reaching close to these maximums. And for example, on my RS, I made a huge mistake. I connected this converter and this drop down converter, as you see, only works to 90 volts, which the RS, when it's breaking on a full battery, spikes above 90 volts instantaneously. Not a huge problem for the battery, it's used to it, but for a component like this, it's only rated to 90, it instantly fried the component. My mistake was that I didn't add a fuse. If you have a fuse, I would have not had any more issues with my scooter. It would have just blew the fuse and we would have been sort of back at the point of realizing that this isn't strong enough. But because I didn't have a fuse, it burnt this out and burnt out the control module on the scooter. So definitely, if you're gonna do anything related to the scooter, put a fuse on every component. You wanna fuse on this, the power is coming from here and you're gonna go to your lights and you wanna fuse on your lights as well. The safest way to do this that you won't destroy any of your components is by putting fuses on everything. Crucial, crucial. Don't make the mistake I did of not putting a fuse, blowing out your control center. Like I've done this before on five, six different scooters and I've never had this problem where the braking sort of spiked the voltage. So I wasn't expecting this. I've thought this would work flawlessly like normal, but it turns out you definitely need this one here rated for 120 volts. The scooter is 84 volt scooter. It might spike up to 90 plus on braking, but it's not going to spike up to 120. So this is good. This, this converter will work, but like I'm saying, you got to add a fuse, put the fuse, be smarter than me, use the big converter. You'll be able to run anything on this 20 amps. 
is enough you could run a decent headlight and the led strips so to me yeah you can spend a little less money get cheaper ones but you might as well just buy this one is like 20 bucks anyways for the best converter off aliexpress so really just look for this when you're buying one and you'll figure out where to put it on the scooter in a bag or whatever but it's worth it having the overhead is what i'm trying to get at is it's worth the having more power more capabilities than you need that you're not going to use than using something that's half as powerful and using it to its maximum capabilities at all times a lot more longevity just from this so if you're gonna do all this work building all this shit right building a scooter with lights and leds and headlights and whatever if you're gonna do all that electronic work you might as well put the slightly more expensive part in that's gonna work the best versus something that's only putting out 15 or five amps for a couple dollars less. So that's kind of my opinion on these is A, if you're not super serious about it, just add a little battery pack. This is really, really easy. B, if you are serious about it and you want the integrated system, just go with something like this and get the fuse set up so that it's not gonna blow anything else.